guys, what is up? I am Lucas and this is Draw My Life. I was born in Frankston General Hospital, 6th of April 1998. If you can't tell already, I was a boy. Growing up over in Melbourne, I was raised quite well. Nothing strict and nothing harsh. Uh, there was a lot of things going on back then that I don't remember. Uh, a few things that I do remember though were the fact that I, uh, as soon as when I first got on a bike, I got up, uh, got up on it and started riding it without training wheels. So that's that's awesome. I had a good education. I went to preschool before I started uh, primary school, and during my preschool years. Uh, the one main thing that I can remember doing is uh, always wanting to go on the jungle gym and things that we had outside uh, outside the preschool. We had uh, all this like equipment uh, that I, that we were able to climb on and stuff like that. And another thing I remember is uh, having this VCR tape uh, by a man called Paul uh, Jamieson. Um, he was uh, an African American. I'm guessing that created kids songs and uh, that I that was yeah something of my past that I was uh, grow you know grown up and raised with um, so yeah after a while uh, my sister was born her name's Mel and yeah as I was growing up, my mother and father were starting to argue a lot and eventually they had a divorce. My mother, my sister and I all moved to Tasmania to start a new life and we've been in Tasmania ever since. Once I'd settled into Tasmania, I'd started primary school and I was really keen to uh, get into art. Uh, that's that's basically the only thing I wanted to do at the at the time was just increase my art skills. As I was a child, I would do a lot of maze maze drawings and uh, other such things, and so that led on to me being quite a uh, frequent, quite a frequent sketcher, and influenced uh, why how I'm such a uh, a very arty person today. I always wanted to end up being a cool kid, uh, and that didn't really happen uh, for a while. It did. It did end up happening actually. Uh, once my once people started to recognise my skills in art, uh, I I was uh, part of the cookie group. They saw my artwork and they were impressed by it and said, "Hey, we need you. You're awesome." As the years went by, kids got meaner, and they started to get they started to develop, develop an attitude. Uh, some kids would uh, bully me for tracing. Other kids would just say that I was bad altogether, and just you know, general bullying started occurring uh, as people you know started started becoming aware of uh, of their consciousness. Because as, when you're a kid, you just kind of go through things and just do things and then you get you get to a stage where you're like hey I'm actually a, I'm actually a person and I can do things so uh, bullies yeah started to develop uh, as kids got older uh, in like uh, second grade and third grade things like that but I wasn't going to let that change anything because of the bullying, I got a lot more independent and I was able to tolerate, uh, you know, bullies and such a lot more. As the years went by, I started to become a lot better friends with the cool kids who accepted me into their group. And I had a small group of mates that I would hang with uh, before school and after school. We would ride our bikes from Joseph's house to school so we would all meet at Joseph's house and then go to school and then after school we would all do the res uh, reverse of that track and people would just split off and separate 
where they had to go. My two best mates were Jake and Joseph and eventually uh, at the start of year 6 Jake had to fly to WA. Uh, his father was taking up work over there and so he had to start a start fresh and you know gather new friends over there so I lost my one of my best mates uh, at the start of year six which kind of left me a bit bit lost but also uh, okay but because I had uh, my other good friends but I was a bit sad that yeah that that had happened in addition to Jake leaving uh, as I neared the end of grade six uh, we were all talking about which high school we were heading off to and sadly most of my friends were not really heading up in the same direction as I was. Some friends were, some friends became enemies at the end of grade six, and some friends uh, were still good people, and they weren't really coming to the same place. And so I found myself in a tricky situation where I was losing most of my friends due to the fact that we were going to different high schools. When I wasn't learning things at school, I was at Scouts. Scouts is pretty much uh, an opportunity for boys to get out outdoors and girls, girls as uh, guides, uh, to get outdoors and uh, just learn about the outdoors and how to survive and uh, just, you know, all things like that. Um, it was founded by uh, Baden-Powell and I absolutely love it. It was, it's it. I don't do it anymore. Uh, I, I want to do it uh, and I probably should be doing it, but I haven't got into doing it again though. But it was an awesome experience where you could learn, um, make new friends, uh, learn a lot, and and yeah, just really kind of get out there and do things. The main two friends that I made during my scouting times were Joseph and Kyle. Joseph is my best friend to this day, and Kyle I was good friends with before I had a job and then at which point we were unable to hang and kind of had to drift apart. Um, it's, it's quite unfortunate, but I was still able to uh, ask him a few questions for just a short little interview um, to see like what I was like back then and how we interacted. Eventually grade 6 ended and I was moving up to high school and I was quite worried about high school because I had no idea what it was going to be like and I didn't I didn't know if I'd be able to keep up with everything but uh, once you have, once you get a few years into it it's fine and it really doesn't uh, stress you out that much. Once I started understanding high school and getting into the into the groove of everything I was I was quite happy with everything that high school had to offer. I liked having my own locker, I liked all the things that you get, the privileges that you have. And so me and Joe were quite happy. We had a lot of free time back back in grade seven and eight to do things and we just generally had a good time and mucked around. So at the end of year six, kind of midway through uh, year seven, I I had to go to the doctors and Eventually, uh, it had been found out that I was diagnosed with ADHD. Now, ADHD is called Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. Now, this is the first time I've actually told, like, everyone publicly, and so 
I'm going to be uh, interested to see the reactions that I get and you know obviously I'm going to get a lot of hate from bullies but that's that's fine I can I can cope with that but yeah so that was uh, something that uh, affected me and my early years of high school quite a lot. This condition was actually uh, causing me to not really pay attention in class as much as I should be, especially since when I was younger I was a lot less mature and wasn't really uh, interested in learning as much as I am now. So I didn't really do too well uh, in school, uh, where, you know, in the early years, but now I've gotten a lot more, got more into it and yeah, really been uh, trying to get better marks and stuff like that. Another thing that my condition was affecting was my social life. People would misunderstand me and not really uh, get why I acted the way I did and how I uh, responded and reacted to certain events and so that caused uh, a lot of uh, trouble in my early years of high school before I could actually uh, cope with the with the types of treatment I was getting and uh, it's it's really done a permanent scar on my social life uh, up to this day uh, I'm still getting bullied constantly by certain people so it's yeah I, I've, it's it's been getting a lot better but it's just uh, it's something that's quite quite hard to deal with the worst part about it though was that they didn't know I had it so they just thought that I was some some weirdo for acting the way I did. To deal with the hate that I was receiving I would use art and art would just let me enter a new world, forget about what had happened and just express myself through my talents and so I would constantly be doing artwork and uh, that was kind of another reason why I didn't do as much schoolwork because that's all I wanted to do because I wanted to get away from the hate so I would I just didn't feel like doing any schoolwork I would I would want to just be doing fun stuff to uh, balance out the bad stuff as people matured so did I and I was able to tolerate a lot better and uh, my grades were starting to go up and just everything about my life was improving uh, as the years went on. Uh, some people are still very mature and still uh, hold the same qualities as they did in grade 7 and you know that's their loss but uh, I just noticed that there was a lot of people that were just starting to wake up to themselves and say hey um, why am I acting like this you know. I'm an adult now, so it was good to see that from a lot of people that they would actually wake up and grow up, so that helped a lot. So as well as the improvement in grades, I was also seeing a higher level of toleration in myself. I was able to block out a lot more haters and I was just pretty much indestructible uh, to anything that they had to throw at me. and. About now, I can pretty much not be affected in any way by anything a hater wants to say. If, if someone, if a bully uh, tries to affect me, it's really not going to do anything. If not, just make them feel stupid. So, it's good. So, at this point in time, I'm pretty much very happy with what I've been able to achieve uh, in my high school years. I am quite skilled in Photoshop. I have, I already have a car, I already have a beast of a PC, I have a, you know, high up there smartphone, I've got a lot of money, I have a part-time job, that was mainly the reason how I could afford all this, uh, getting in there uh, real nice and early, uh, really, that's kind of what has helped everything, just getting in there early and, you know, starting from, starting from the bun, now we're here, yeah, but, um, sorry about that, um, it's just, yeah, getting in there fast, and so I'll be getting my P's, uh, I don't know, in about like a week and a half or something, hopefully. Um, but it's just all about how much you give. The more you give, the more you get out, and that has clearly been shown 
pretty much by my life. Like, not to brag, but I just feel as if I've put in a lot and I can honestly say that I have been given back quite a lot as well and it's an awesome feeling. So the less you put in, the, the less you can expect to be given. Um, you know, I, I, the, only, the only things that I could say could be better was uh, if my mother wouldn't stop uh, making me do tons of maths all the time and uh, yeah, it's, it's good. It's really good. But to be honest, I really shouldn't be saying that because I owe everything that I have to my mother and father and everyone. It's just, it's been one hell of a 17 years and uh, even though I've probably experienced uh, quite a lot of things that normal people shouldn't need to experience, that has benefited me in a way and made me understand a lot more so you know thank you mom thank you joseph thank you everyone and so just another little thing that i wanted to explain was uh this condition that i have uh it's it basically allows me to be focused on one thing very very much so uh some of you may may know that the artwork that I do and stuff and you might think to yourself wow how, how is he that that good and basically the reason is is because of my condition it, it makes me focus uh, a lot more than I should uh, usually I, I'll be blocking other stuff out that someone else probably should be taking in but that's just something that I've had to deal with so Where I want to move on to from here uh, at high school is I want to end uh, year 12 on the best note that I can to give me the highest chance in getting a job in graphic design because honestly graphic design is my passion and I can't really see myself doing anything else. If I wouldn't, if I was unable to get into a job in graphic design, my my best bet would probably be either YouTube or something else uh, like like that um, and uh, yeah I just I, 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 I hope to do both that that would be very very awesome because I, I already do it now but I may not have as much time if I become a graphic designer so it would be it would be amazing to be able to do both and maybe even become a little more popular on YouTube.